Welcome back to Sengoku Basara, everybody. Today we're going to be tackling the story mode for Enshin Uesugi, who is also the final playable character on this game's default roster. Kenshin here is the rival of Shingen Takeda here, and also in the English version Devil Kings, he went by the name Frost. So today we're going to be conquering the land here as Kenshin. Let's go ahead and get this story started. So we're up here in the uh, the top right, which is where I think most of this game's playable cast is. At least the default starters. Um, so we can attack Itsuki, Masamune, or Shingen. I'm going to try and work towards Shingen being my final battle. Let's hope that someone doesn't... Like, nobody kills Shingen on my way. But I was just talking in the last episode about how I always found Itsuki's stage as, like, the best starter level. So let's go ahead and just take out Itsuki right from the get-go. Let's go ahead and get this story started. Let's see what we got here. So his weapon only does 50, he has 50 attack and 25 defense. Let's take a look at his two special moves here. Ooh, I can see that being really helpful. And that, oh my gosh, I might really enjoy using Kenshin. So let's go ahead and put our typical accessories on. Attack upgrade, defense upgrade, and increased XP gain. Let's go ahead and get this story started. Look, it's Kasuga. レスギケンシ。<笑> Uh, that's such a stupid start to their story. So, for those of you who don't know, um, Kasuga basically... I uh, So, from my understanding of the story, she is from the same ninja village as Sasuke. Um, and she was sent to assassinate Kenshin. <laughs> and she wound up falling in love with him, and now serves him. It's really stupid, and I love it. Right, so far... Uh, Kenshin seems to have a really good damage output. Fast attacking. His first attack is a really quick startup. Right, let's go ahead and try his two special moves. Let's see. Does that does that do more hits the more people I hit with it? It doesn't look like it. Okay, I think I'm gonna like Kenshin. It looks like he's got a pretty decently high damage output. Um, but just like no, it looks like he has like a low like a low amount of HP, which could be problematic. Which means I'm probably gonna avoid fighting Zafi. Figuring out how to use his special moves effectively is going to be kind of difficult. But it looks like he's just more effective if I don't use him. But I think I like his uh his second special move pretty well. That might be good for like taking out like shield soldiers. Or just getting a quick attack off, you know. Yeah, like, look how fast it takes people out. That's pretty good. Well, so let's take out these gate guards again. You know, the, the typical. The typical flow for the stage. Let's 
I'm not entirely sure, but I think I kind of overall prefer uh, this version of Kenshin. Um, because, you know, uh, one one series that I compare this game to a lot is Samurai Warriors, because, you know, it's uh, another one versus 1,000 uh, hack and slash beat em up kind of game based on some Goku theory in Japan. Um, and both games feature a lot of the same characters, you know? Um, and one of those characters being Kenshin. Um, I don't know if I'm a fan of the Samurai Warriors or of Kenshin. I think overall he's just kind of a boring character. Uh, but this one, he's at least a little more interesting. I won't say I'm, like, super attached to his character, but he's he's definitely more interesting. Yeah, these, these, these guys gotta go. There we go. That's that's gonna be my, my purpose for using this special move, is quickly taking out these, like, enemy- like, the normal annoying enemies. Also, don't quote me on this, but... Uh, Kenshin's voice in, in Japanese sounds incredibly familiar. Um, I'll have to, editing me, put it up if I'm correct or not, but uh, I'm pretty sure Kenshin's voice in this Japanese version is um, Romy Park, who is the voice of Edward Elric in Japanese. Edward Elric and uh, Final Fantasy Zidane. So... Don't quote me on that, I might be wrong, but uh, in editing, uh, put up on the screen, was I correct? I will say, one thing I'm not a fan of in, um, in Sengoku Basara is just how much of the game's dialogue is just people screaming. It can be, like, funny, like, the first couple times around, but, like, oh my god, is it, like, ear grating afterward? <laughs> well, let's see. Does he have a move to quickly take out shields? Uh, let's try out his, uh, his Basara art. <laughs> he mentioned, uh, Bishamonten. Oh, also, dang, I took her out quick. He mentioned Bisha Monten, which is definitely something he does not mention in the English version. Let's see, are there any of these treasure? No, they're all life. And I feel stupid for wasting them now. As far as uh, Kenshin's voice actors, though, I don't remember who voices Kenshin in, uh, in Devil Kings, who voices Frost in Devil Kings. Um, I do know the voice acting was done by... Uh, Ocean, like, ocean group actors. So the actors you would typically see in, like, the old, like, ocean dub of Dragon Ball. Like, uh, Peter Kalamis, the original, one of the original Goku voices. Um, he was, uh, the voice of Mitsuhide in the English version. Uh, Kirby Maro, rest in peace, uh, did the voice of Masamune. Um, I don't remember who did Kenshin's voice in English, um, in that game. But uh, I believe it was uh, Dino Andrade who uh, who did his voice in the third game, which is the only other localized uh, Sengo Kukasara game. And then I believe it was uh, not Chris Ayers, um, the, the other Ayers brother. Uh, what was his name? The other Ayers brother. Uh, I actually don't remember his name. Uh, and I feel bad about it because I really like him. As a, I really like his voice. Anyway, uh, the other Ayers brother, not Chris Ayers, but the other one, uh, did uh, did his voice in the anime. It's actually bugging me that I don't remember his name. Um, but obviously, uh, it, I'll, I'll throw it up on the screen uh, what his name was. And I feel really bad that I just don't remember off the top of my head. There we go, fighting Itsuki. There we go, got all my life back, too. 
そなたに慈しく Did like no damage, dude. Okay, I gotta take out these freaking hammer guys. They are they are giving me the business. Holy crap. Get some life back. I have so I have such a, a small health bar that like things that normally heal very little health do a lot for Kenshin. Dude, are you kidding me? Stop using that. Got her. All right. That's the first level down. And I got a weapon upgrade to level seven. So, I can either fight Shingen or I can fight Masamune. We're going to take on Masamune because, like I said, I'm going to try my hardest to have Ken uh, Shingen be my final battle, which is going to be incredibly difficult. Um, just because of where he's at. So, I have to really hope he does not attack Ujiyasu. Because if he attacks Ujiyasu, that could either go one or two ways. He'll either win or he'll lose. If he loses, Shingen's gone, which means he won't be my final battle. But if he wins... I'll have to fight him next because of the fact that there's no one else I'll be able to fight. So we're going to fight Masamune and just hope for the best. Sure. It's around 80-25 now. Let's go ahead and get started. And just like previous runs of the stage, I'm just going to not even worry about catching up with Masamune. Uh, we're just going to let him run to the end because we have a lot of people we need to kill on the way there. I love that the party is even in English on the subtitles. I got him down. And off he goes. I'd say let's go after him, but I'm not going after him. That's guy number one. It is honest to God a lot faster to kill these guys like on on foot than it is on the horse. Plus my horse doesn't take damage if I uh if I get off of it. I catch up with the big boss of Oshu. I forgot how to use special moves again. There we go. Check out those guys. Right, he's about to he's about to reach his base, but that's fine. Like I said, we're not trying to catch up to him. Alright, 
Stop freaking blocking my guy. Honest to God, probably the most annoying part of this game is how frequently enemies block. And as far as I'm aware, there's not many easy ways to break their guard. I guess Kenshin has an easy way. Suppose I got eight treasure boxes. I thought I got less than this last time. Oh no. Jeez. Alright, up and at him. Ha ha. Oh, dude, I'm almost dead again. Jeez. Yeah, yeah, I know, it's Masamune. Life, life. That's not life. Excuse me. Box? Any boxes? Oh. Feel a little bit safer now. Thankfully, these guys drop life too. I don't like it's him coming at me from behind. Excuse me. Don't you war dance on me. Get on the horse, get on the horse. Okay, we need to retreat, find some life. Not life. Not what I'm looking for. Okay. There we go. I just now realized that using that boost uses up your Basara gauge. Okay, guys. Got him. Honest God, I was really nervous, but we did it. I think his line there in English, and as far as I'm aware, the Devil King's translation is pretty accurate otherwise, like, outside of, like, the name changes and everything. So I think in the English version, he says, like, like, when you defeat Masamune, he says, uh, when, when I'm reborn, I want to be a bird, I believe. That's... I'm not, I'm not gonna equip these, but it's increased damage against one enemy type and then another enemy type. But my sword is now stronger, which is good. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, good. Yes. All right. I don't have to worry. Well, as long as nobody kills Shingen, I'll, I don't have to worry. But I can fight Ujiyasu. So my plan is continuing.
I hate Ujiyasu stage, but we're doing it. I want Shingen to be my final battle. Yeah, I don't have a new weapon yet, but I do have 115 attack now, which is good. Remember what Ujiyasu's Devil King's name is? Remember what I said about characters just screaming? Yeah. <laughs> And that little offshoot above me has got to have a treasure box in it. Dude, I already have four of them? Holy crap. Yeah, there's got to be a treasure box up here. This seems like a place that would have one. It doesn't. Wow. Good to know for the future, though. It's like a pathway over here. It's like behind these buildings. Yeah, I never went this way on uh, on any of my other runs of the stage. Is there anything actually back here? Or is it just another path? Yeah, there's nothing back here. Those didn't have anything in them. There's gotta be at least like one freaking box around here, right? I'm surprised. I'm actually surprised there isn't. Yeah, talking about pace killers, like that's probably the worst one. <laughs> Also, speaking about places where there could potentially be a treasure box, look at this long, winding pathway down here that I have never gone down. And there's no actual point to going that way. There's got to be a bunch of, like, at least one treasure box this way. That's just life. But come on, like, what, what else is over here? There's got to be something good at the end of this, because there's no other point to this pathway. I swear to God, if there's nothing at the end of this, I'm going to be so mad. Ow. Dude, these guys are like the most annoying, like some of the most annoying enemies. It's like, look at this crap. There has got to be something good at the end of this. If there isn't, I'm going to be so freaking mad. So stuffing a bunch of annoying enemies on this pathway. There's got to be something back here. Look at that. It's like five boxes. Ooh, there's like a lot. Life. Treasure box. More life. Basara. Big treasure box. And another treasure box. Good, there's three treasure boxes here. So on this stage, absolutely worth coming this way. Especially if I'm going to be playing on hard later. Not in this playthrough. The playthrough's going to end when I beat all 16 stories on normal. Okay, good. We're out of there. It's definitely going to be a good path for No to go down since she can easily take those guys out. But as for Kenshin, that sucked. That was the worst. Alright, good. We're finally back here. Beautiful. 
excuse me. Dude, Kenshin's got like the longest freaking Basara art. I will say that's probably one of the best the worst parts of playing is that his Sara art's not interesting. It's honestly really boring. <laughs> It's just really long, and half the time it does like no damage to, like to the enemy you're trying to use it on. Freaking dying again. This isn't even a freaking tough enemy. This is just a dude. Oh, I don't know. Oh, sweet treasure box. I was looking for life, but hey, I'll take it. Devil XP, more Devil XP. Those don't stack, so please don't put those next to each other. Dude, these freaking field soldiers just poking me and interrupting my combo. Man, that's probably the fastest I've taken this guy out. And 14 treasure boxes is nothing to sneeze at. I get anything good out of it? Oh, well, my sword's level 34 now. I'm really surprised I haven't gotten a second, like, my second weapon yet. Alright, don't kill Shingen, please. Oh boy. Oh no, don't don't kill him. Ooh! Close one. I got Shingen or Oh, Mitsuhide. Interesting. Huh. I thought Mitsuhide could only be fought by freaking uh, Nobunaga at the end of his story. Huh. It's really interesting. I guess we're fighting Mitsuhide. So yeah, I haven't even got a new weapon or a new move yet, so we're just going in like this. Let's go. Totemo Tanoshi Utage no Hajimari desu yo. Oh crap, have we done this stage yet? I don't think we've played this stage yet. I think this is another new stage. Guess I'm not skipping any cutscenes here. Dude, Mitsuhide's voice is so much lower in Japanese than it is in any of his English voices.
なんとこちらが押されているのか貴様そどうそなたに美しき。Can you drop life instead? That'd be nice. Oh no, he's reaching Mount Tenno. What will I do? I did it! Alright, I was gonna open this、uh, gate down here first. Dude, I swear to God, these freaking bomb troopers are so annoying. That thing I said about people just yelling and screaming, that applies to the freaking bomb troopers too. They're annoying. I'm tired of hearing, like, every like, few seconds. I've never played Sengoku Basara 2, but I am praying that they tone down the bomb troopers because they are annoying to listen to. There we go. God. <laughs> Dude, okay, I was going to say, is one of them still chasing me? <laughs> We got Bowman too. They're not as annoying as Bomb Troopers because at least I don't have to hear the Bowman. Part's annoying though. Where are you going, huh? Where are you going? Oh my god, let's just trigger all of them. Dude, my health is so freaking low now. Need a box, I need some kind of life. And I'm back in the fighting shape, thankfully. So I don't like the camera constantly going like downward. Oh my god. So tired of hearing that. Stage is neat overall, though. Let's go for this guy on the very left here. Or not the left, my left, but it's on the, more on the right side of the stage. For the east. The guy on the east.
Two more regular dudes, and I'll take out Mitsuhide. Kidding me, there's more of them? Just blow up already, dude. Alright, it's you and me. Yeah, we've seen this before. Doesn't go anywhere near the amount of damage I would like for it to do. I gotta, I gotta kill that guy. There's another bomb soldier just like lurking over there in the back. Look at him over there. Got him. That was a cool stage. Overall, at least, I didn't like the amount of bomb soldiers in it, though. Oh, look, I finally got a new sword. Level 35, too. And then this sword's level 53. This sword looks kind of funny. But you know what? It might be better than the one I got equipped, and that's always a good thing. Especially if it has more defense. There we go. Do not kill Shingen. Oh. Of course, I'm under attack. Oh, nice. The one I'm using went up. Nice. Oh, good God, it's Zavi. Why do I have to fight Zavi again? I didn't want to fight Zavi again. 495.50. Yeah, way, way better. Look at that. Look how high my attack is. Oh, buddy, buddy, bud. Here we go. Just try to get through this stage as fast as possible. Wrong move. Go. Got through the love gate. Oh, 
Speed on through, baby. Let's go. You know what? I haven't fought any of those like giant like Star Wars like what are they? ATATs or ATST? What is the big four-legged walker called in Star Wars? I haven't fought one of those as Kenshin yet, so I wonder how hard it's gonna be. Oh, dude, that thing went down like nothing. Maybe this won't be so bad. Like, this won't be so bad as Kenshin. Also, dude, the music here is so freaking good. Dude, I'm dying again. Stop shooting me. Also, hello, fat parrot. Through here as fast as possible, too. Stop it. Zombie, 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 zombie. Right, here we go. This would be too difficult. Ow, he stepped on me. I did way too much damage. Let's not go anywhere near that for the time being. Ow. Okay, if I can get some life, this actually won't be too bad. Ow. There we go. Stop shooting at me, dude. There we go. Take it out. How that thing still hit me? You're dead, though. And it fell on me. Move away before it blows up on me, too. Oh, yes. Treasure. 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 There we go. So I can I can at least come back here for life before I fight Zavi if I need it. So let's not break the rest of those. Damn ninjas, I swear. I'm trying to get the two Zavi Ow, the two Zavi bots near each other. That was relatively painless. Oh boy, here we go. 
the actual tough fight. Let's try to get as many of these guys taken out as possible. Because they're going to be problems. Here we go. Please be kind to me, Zavi. He's already not. He's already not. He's already not. God, okay, okay. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, I am so low. At least I got Zavi with that, too. That is Zavi, right? Not a Zavi bot. Wow, uh, maybe we can just keep stun locking him with this. A cheap way to beat him, but God, screw Zavi. Oh, Jesus. And for good measure, I took out the Zavi bot. Oh, Jesus. Both my weapons went up 98 and 78, and also something or other here. I don't know what it is. Here we go. Got one more battle. And it is against the man himself. Let's take a look at that new move of ours. So that looks already better. I want to swap these two moves here first. Uh, so this... This one here. Right? Yeah, and then this first move be this one. Yeah, because that, that, that first move of mine I wasn't really using. 540, 50, 530... Oh, better overall. Here we go. Final battle. And this is a stage we've done before. It's a stupid... Freaking talking to cavalry one, so... We gotta kill Yukimura. Yeah, yeah, I know. Here we go. Ow. Alright, quickly rush over and take out Yukimura to stop this as soon as possible. Yeah, I know, I know. I know it's you, buddy. You get up, come on. Not what I wanted. Here we go. Dude, I swear to God, if I die here. Over there, life. Hopefully, life. It's a bit. It'll do. Dude, these freaking horses, man. Jesus Christ. Jesus. <laughs> My God, finally. I need to find life really badly. Ooh. Okay. Sorry. 
Dude, come on, go away. God, I hate you guys. All right, so let's go take out these three gates here. Of course, the freaking final stage would be one that gives me a headache. Two of these gates are down now. Did I why did I kill him so fast? Alright, let's backtrack and go down the middle path now. Oh, okay, we got this. The rest of this stage is going to be easy peasy, lemon squeezy, pizza cheesy, something else that rhymes. <laughs> It does bother me a little bit that I can't rotate the camera during that attack. It does kind of suck that I can't get my freaking bearings while using it. Treasure box. Life. We'll get gates open now. So we don't have to backtrack all the way down this path. Not that it's going to save us very much time. Because we're going to be going down this path to take out these three uh, red dots on the side. Then we have to come right back down it. <laughs> so it's not saving us very much time. Together. Come on, guys. Come on in here. Crap. Archer. At least I can take out three of them, because I can't lure all the archers together. Are they coming in? Okay, cool. But at the very least, I can lure uh, Shingen over and take it and, like, use it on at least four of them. Whatever. Shingen's not in here, but... There we go. It did take out all three of those guys. There we go. Just gotta take out this guy, and I am golden. I just used the, the same tactic I've been using. Here we go. How much damage is this going to do? 
a decent amount. Yes, I'm going to use that tactic. <laughs> Spamming that over and over. We did it! Ooh. Come on, look, I got his third weapon, too. Looks pretty cool. Just like everyone else, I reached level 8. And we have conquered the land as Kenshin. ランセはさった。私を倒す男は現れなかった。あの I don't know what just happened because of the fact that it's all in Japanese. I believe that Kasuga has a similar ending, like up to that point where it looks like Shingen is like, or not Shingen, Kenshin is like, when he starts glowing, I think from there, Kasuga's ending changes, but up to that point, I think it's the same thing. We did it, and I don't think we unlocked anybody for beating Kenshin's story. Yeah, we didn't unlock anybody else, so that is where we're going to be ending off Pension Story. Thank you guys so much for watching. Next time, we're going to be playing as somebody different. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.